Hi, Steven here from Core Electronics. Today we're going to talk about making a capacitive touch keyboard using CircuitPython and the Adafruit Circuit Playground Express. The Adafruit Circuit Playground Express is a great board for this because it comes with seven capacitive touch sensitive pads already made into the board. So what we're doing here is we've got alligator clips from the capacitive sensitive touch pads to some strips of copper tape on this clipboard. So they'll sense, sense touch and when, um, when you touch the pads, the speaker emits a different note and the lights light up a different color. So let's see how we did it. If we take a look at the code in CircuitPython, um, it's a pretty simple program. It's basically just a big um, if else if statement. So um, if we look at the top, we have a slide switch off option. So that, um, that allows it to turn it off with the slide switch. And then we have an if and else if for each for each touchpad on the Circuit Playground Express. So if A1 is touched, then we print A1 in the serial monitor, we fill all the pixels to a color, and um, we play a tone. And um, the tone is determined by hertz, so 262 hertz is C, I believe, but um, it's pretty easy to find which which hertz is which note. And then we have an else if for, for every other note in the scale. And then down toward the bottom here, we have something a little unique, which is the else if and, and not. So if you're playing a scale, seven touchpads is just one note short of what you'd want it, what you'd expect so if we do both last keys at the same time then we get the higher note so we do this by having a else if and not so if a6 is touched but not a7 then we'll play a6 if A7 is touched and not A6, then we'll play A7. And if they're both touched together, then we'll play um, 8, which is uh, just one note higher. And then the final else is to set all the pixels to off and the tones to off. Otherwise, they'll just keep playing and the lights will stay on and you'll have a ringing sustain on each note that you play. So another note about the capacitive touch keyboard is that capacitive touch pads are really sensitive. So we have alligator clips here with pretty long wires, but uh, whenever you have wires crossing, there's potential for it to give false notes. So one way to do it is to just not touch the wires or move them around after the board's been powered up and maybe that'll work, but I had to arrange the wires a little bit so they didn't touch too much because you could see even just touching the wires themselves is enough to make a reading for capacitive touch. And if the wires are touching each other, then sometimes it can give a false note. So try to arrange your wires so they don't touch at all if possible. Maybe you might need to tape them to the table or something, or find a find a good jumble where they, where they don't touch. So if you'd like to learn about making a capacitive touch keyboard using make code, I have a tutorial video coming up soon that'll that'll walk you through that. Um, if you have any other questions or comments, please hit us up on our forums and thanks for watching.